Wildcats. My name is Marion, and this is your Cats Eye News for Wednesday, April 12th. Hey, everyone. I'm Gideon. Welcome back. We'll be right back with your morning announcements. <laughs> Hoping as best they can this morning with some of the... It makes your party a disaster. Somebody you don't want. Yes, I used to use Zerowax. If they've added plastic, it's something that gives a better... Sh no matter how clever he is, he still needs an exit visa. Or I should say two. Why two? Today is the final day to turn in your application for class officer. Any freshmen, sophomore, and junior students interested in representing their class as a class officer, please get your forms turned into Mrs. Fisher ASAP. We'd like to take a moment to congratulate Lawrence North sophomore Karina Powell. She just returned to Indianapolis synchronized swimming team from a week of competition at the 2K17 U.S. National Championship for synchronized swimming in Oro Valley, Arizona. Karina competed with five other students, five other high school students, bringing home the bronze medal for the synchro in the team event. This is Karina's second year of competing and practicing in the team event at the national championship. She went, she trains 10 to 14 hours a weekly while maintaining distinguished honor roll. Great job, Karina. Still not sure where to go for college? Well, you might want to attend Ivy Tech Day on April 20th. Ivy Tech is a great choice if you want to earn a two-year degree for very little money and be in school for a short amount of time. Please see Mrs. Anderson in room 128 to set up an appointment time with Ivy Tech admission reps. Ivy Tech offers many programs allowing students to earn a degree and enter the workforce making competitive salaries or transfer earn credits to a four-year university that you plan on attending. Applications are still being accepted, so see Mrs. Anderson today. Seniors, please complete your senior surveys by Thursday, April 20th. You will have a chance to win senior surprises and senior suites during lunch on May 3rd. May 3rd is senior day. Plan on wearing college gear from the school you plan on attending in the fall. Show your school spirit and get your senior survey done by April 20th, so May 3rd can be a pretty sweet day for the seniors. And now on to sports. Your baseball team is off to a great start. After pitching a no-hitter in their second game of a doubleheader on Saturday against Bloomington North, the boys took that fire to Warren Central last night. We now go to interviews with some of the team's biggest names. Uh, Saturday we played two games against Bloomington North and we had two very solid wins in both of them. We had really good pitching in both the first and second game. Had some big hits in the first game, a couple bombs, and then second game everyone just started hitting and we ended up 10 run rolling them. Uh, personally, I think the first game I need to, I was a little too aggressive, but the second game I kind of I started off the game with a leadoff double, so that was pretty good. And then I ended up scoring twice in the same inning. Uh, right now, I don't think we're worried about competing with any other team. I feel like we can be competitive against any other opponent. I'd say the biggest game we'll play this year will be against Carmel, only because they're ranked number one. That really doesn't mean anything to us. So, I'm Garrett Burhan. I'm a junior, and I'm an outfielder and a right-handed pitcher. Uh, yeah, the game on Saturday went well for us. Um, I personally pitched four innings for us and played the outfield, did pretty well. Uh, I personally thought that uh, everybody actually came together and we did some things that we haven't been doing at the beginning of the year. So I'm really excited for the Carmel Carmel Cathedral week. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, no, not really, just that uh, we're really piecing things together now and looking like a unit, finally. Come support. <laughs> I'm Riley Hargis. Uh, I'm a center fielder and left-handed pitcher, and I'm a junior. Uh, yeah, we won both, and we played really good together, and uh, we finally started to look like a unit. Uh, I did all right. Uh, I pitched a few innings for us and got the job done. Uh, yeah, the team is excited for the Carmel Carmel Cathedral Week. It's at the end of this month, and uh, we hope that everyone can come out. Thanks, guys. You can catch them in action tonight at home against Warren Central. Best of luck. After a heartbreaking loss 9-5 to five last Friday against Speedway, the softball team is looking to bounce back tonight against Perry Meridian. 
Good luck, girls. Girls Tennis is also in action tonight. They will play Noblesville starting at 515. Come out and support your Wildcat athletes. And that's it for today, Cats. We out.